it's happening just like I talked about. Talked about how Bitcoin would have very, very serious rivals along the way. And it didn't matter about the fundamentals. It didn't matter about how much people love Bitcoin or anything like that. Today we're talking about the all new Libra, Libra global currency. And this, my friends, this is dangerous. And we're going to talk about that in this video. Why it's dangerous and why you should be scared if you're holding lots and lots of Bitcoin. Let's talk about it in this video. I know I like to talk about the controversy of Bitcoin, but I also am a realist and I understand how money works and how people get rich and how people get poor. Talking about it in this video. So if you want to learn more about the brand new, brand new Facebook cryptocurrency initiative and everything that's going on with Libra. We're talking about it in this video. So let's go. All right. All right. What's going on guys. So today I want to talk about this all new. Well, I'm a little late to it. I'm about a day late. The all new Libra cryptocurrency, a simple, a simple global currency and financial infrastructure that will empower billions of people. It's almost like we've heard the story before. You know, reinventing money, transforming the global economy so people everywhere can live a better life. Where have we heard this story before? Oh, yes. We've heard the story from every single cryptocurrency that's ever been created. Every single cryptocurrency has one goal and one vision, and that's to be a global currency, and that's to revolutionize the world and empower people. I don't know about you guys, but it almost sounds... I don't know about you guys, but it almost sounds like some type of religious cult. You know, hey, everybody, we want to take care of you. We want to empower you poor people. We want to give you a means of global economic power. But really, we want to hold the carrot in front of your face your entire life and dangle the carrot. Now, all the people out there who are hardcore Bitcoin, 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 it's going to the moon. Bitcoin's the only thing that matters. I understand that this video is going to hurt your feelings. The idea, the idea that maybe possibly your ideological idea that the world is going to, for some reason, change and Bitcoin is going to be that change, that everybody is going to adopt a simple cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and there's never going to be any inflation and the whole world is going to operate on just one blockchain. Well, I hate to burst your bubble. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate down below. But we got to be real here, people. we got to talk about the real, real deal. And at the end of the day, what it comes down to is one simple idea here. And it's money. Money, money, money. Money always wins. I don't care who you are, what idea you have, what dream you have. At the end of the day, big money will find a way to crush you. And you might have some example about how some guy started a business and did this and made this and how it happened. I get it. There are examples. It has happened before. But the vast majority of the world has been controlled by big money since day one. I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist here, but I am a conspiracy theorist. And I am going to say that Libra would love, would love to basically take over the cryptocurrency space. Now, this whole thing is really, really weird. I haven't really like spent a ton of time researching it because I really don't care that much because I pretty much understand how cryptocurrency work. And I understand the idea behind Libra that, you know, everybody's just going to get rich and everybody's going to have fun. It's going to be great. But what I'm really looking at here is the partners. Let's look at the partners. Can you guys see this? You got all these massive partners. You got Coinbase, you got PayPal, you got MasterCard, Uber, PayU, Spotify, eBay, Stripe, Lyft, Visa. Can you name a major financial company that's not listed on this? Yeah, maybe you could. But in general, look at that name. Look at that list of partners, my friends. Look at that list of partners. Last time I checked, there are no major partners with Bitcoin. Now, obviously, there's Bitcoin different companies that use it or whatever. And you're going to talk about how there's some cryptocurrency company that's making huge moves with massive partners, but they're not listed on this or on the Bitcoin website. Well, there's not really a Bitcoin website, but there are no real, real crazy, insane 
Bitcoin partners. And that's what it comes down to here, my friends. At the end of the day, it's all about money strategy and how these major corporations can continue to stranglehold the people. They talk about how they want to make it easier for people to spend money, how they want to make it easier to do this and do that. But at the end of the day, there's always going to be a little bit of a kickback to these companies. And these companies are going to be more successful because of a global cryptocurrency, which will be called Libra. Now, Facebook is going to have a new, I guess, kind of cryptocurrency platform or a new thing called Calibre or Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg announced that Calibra will be heading this in terms of the the Facebook interest. Calibra will be focusing on Facebook's interest in cryptocurrency and also they'll be working on a digital cryptocurrency wallet and a way for people to exchange cryptocurrency and stuff like that. It's all very, very interesting. So obviously, you know, we've got all these major players in the game. And I know, I understand that you are going to argue with me. And you're going to tell me that Libra is going to tank and Bitcoin's going to the moon either way. But you've got to be honest with yourself. you got to understand that at the end of the day, it's the big money, my friends, the big money who will always, who will always end up winning in the long term. I remember when there were rumors of Facebook adopting cryptocurrency. There won't. Everybody was like, oh, no, Bitcoin is going to be adopted. No, no, Litecoin is going to be adopted. No, no, it's going to be XRP. No, no, it's going to be this cryptocurrency. And I told everyone the same story. Why would Facebook do anything with any other cryptocurrency? Why wouldn't they just do something like this? where they can basically create their own cryptocurrency. Huh. It makes so much more sense. When you have all the money in the world, why would you go and use a cryptocurrency that's already invented or already in play when you can make a lot more money by making your own cryptocurrency? Huh. Secrets. That's how it works, my friends. That's business right there. So like I said, take a little look here. Libra, you know, the vision. Libra is a global, digitally native, reserved back cryptocurrency built on the foundation of blockchain technology. People will be able to send, receive, spend, and secure their money. The currency is called Libra. The aim is to make Libra as widely accepted and as easy to use as possible to create a currency that people can use with confidence and convenience in their everyday lives. So again, removing Bitcoin from the equation. Unlike most major cryptocurrencies, Libra is fully backed by a reserve of real assets, a basket of currencies and assets will be held in the Libra Reserve for every Libra that is created, building trust in its intrinsic value. Hmm. The blockchain. The Libra blockchain is operated by a network of validator nodes. The evolution of the blockchain will be overseen by the founding members of the Libra Association, and each member will be responsible for running a validator node as the network grows and becomes more self-sustaining. The Libra Association will work to gradually transition to a permissionless mode of operation. I don't know about you guys, but it sounds like they're going to have their fingers in everything here. Looking at the association, Libra Association is an independent, not per profit membership organization headquartered in Switzerland. So you can see here the founding members, the initial group of organizations will work together to finalize Libra's association charter and become the association founding members upon its completion. Well, look what we got here. We got MasterCard, PayPal, and Visa. We've got eBay, Facebook, Lyft, and Uber, and Spotify and Mercado. We've also got Vodafone, Iliad, Anchorage, Coinbase, Expo, and uh, Venture Capital Funds as well. So I don't know about you guys, but these are some big names, a lot of people with a lot of money right here, my friends. So we've got to be worried about the idea that Bitcoin could be threatened, could be threatened very, very threatened. At the end of the day, like I said, money always wins. Doesn't matter how much doesn't matter how doesn't matter how much you believe that Bitcoin will be the global currency. It just matters who has the most money and who's going to make the global currency, not Bitcoin. This could be the last and final hammer or nail in the coffin for Bitcoin, my friends. This could be very, very bad. And I don't want to make anyone worried, but this could be bad. This could be really bad. Incentive do these companies now have when they are founding members, when they are working towards making Libra the cryptocurrency that rules all the cryptocurrencies, what incentive 
do these companies have to offer Bitcoin services or crypto other cryptocurrency services? What incentive do they have? That's my question. If you're going to leave a comment down below and you're going to hate on this video, at least give me a valid reason why these companies right here would really care to see Bitcoin succeed when they have more vested interest and they have more money invested in seeing Libra secede. Hmm. These are all serious questions that need to be answered. All very serious questions. Let's hear your response down below. What do you guys think? Libra, it's happening. It's real. It's going to take over. I'm not going to discount this idea by any means. Libra, Facebook, all the major payment processing companies, Uber, Lyft, they're all behind it. They're all ready to party, and they don't care about Bitcoin going to the moon. There it is. I'm Patrick Whelan. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more, more controversial videos talking about things that I really have no idea what I'm talking about. I'll talk to you guys later on.